Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to the Jaffe Podcast. We are coming to you guys live Thursday, April 27th at 12.48 p.m. Well, honestly, we're actually pretty live with this uh, this podcast because it's like the day we guys are supposed to be watching it, you know? It's giving raw, it's giving um, real podcast. <laughs> it's giving we're lazy. <laughs> yeah, it is... Um, 80 degrees here in California. God damn. And I am the happiest, the happiest gal. I am with a smile. My depression is gone. It is amazing. Hot girl summer ready. <laughs> not yet. So that's what we're going to talk not, about. What, what, wait, what uh, summer do you think you're going to be thotting out? Do you know? Thotting out? Yeah. Like you're like dressing, like thotty out. Oh, this one. Because I got my boobs now. Jeez. Yeah. This is going to be my, my. Hey, um, don't be surprised when you see me with shades on, y'all. Why shade? Oh, you're done. I'm not going to get caught lacking. <laughs> This summer, um, I feel like, but you know what? No, I feel like next summer. Hey, tripod's broke. Hey, you saw that? <laughs> hey, time for new tripods. Oh my! <laughs> it's gonna take a year to come in. Ha 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 ha! So funny, Natalie. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, we are this summer. I feel like we didn't. We slacked. What do you? Oh. We I, no, no, no. It's, we're not slacking yet. We could still get on it. You no, know, for dude. Summer. There's like two months. It takes two months to cut. No, but, but you like, don't ever. All right, I get on a meal plan, and she's like, uh, "Do you want this?" And I'm like, "Hell yeah!" I'm about to... that, this is my issue with Jake. Let me tell you guys, my dude, we our tripods are broken again. Damn it! <laughs> my issue with Jake is that can you put it higher a little bit, please? Got you. Thank you. My issue with Jake is that, like, whenever he's doing like a like a diet or whatever it is that he's doing, it's only for the things he wants to. For example, like if I'm like, "Oh, let's get." I don't know, canes, right? And he's like, no, I'm on a diet. But th at the corner of some street, there could be fucking pork skin. And he, if he's craving it, he'll get it. And I'm like, so why the fuck do you sit here and tell me that you're on a diet? And then you make <laughs> us eat healthy, whatever. And then you just go in. Ah, but it's because so recently much. I've been doing the cooking here. And like, I wish you could do it so I could be on that diet too, you know? The cooking? Yeah, because it, it, takes, it takes a You've while. You've cooked two times. I've cooked like two five times. times. Five times. Name them. Salmon, tilapia, uh, tuna. Jacob, Jacob, tilapia was like three months ago. Chicken. In the past week, how God many times damn. have hey, you cooked? The, you're, supposed exactly. to, you're supposed to like just go in. No, <laughs> no. Literally, Jacob made salmon and he's saying that he made food for I don't know how long. And pre that um, dinner it's because, before. It's because you would bring home Waba Grill or something. Because if not, we starve. <laughs> Because you don't make food either. No, because you don't want to make food. Anyways, the point is that um that night before Jacob had made the salmon, I made food and then he made it the next day because, you know. And then ever since then, he's never made any. So don't say you're trying to act Mr. Jacob the chef or something. Now, there's a problem with you that Nat has like when she cooks. So she cooks something. It could be a fucking pizza. But as long as it says protein pizza, bro, it's healthy. I didn't say that. Like the, pa the pasta you made with three cheeses or whatever. I didn't say it was healthy. I just said it had protein. You convinced me to eat it because it's like protein pasta bro. okay what are the calories but then, look at this is the see, thing i have as homemade well. look, protein no, no. pasta he doesn't want to eat it because of the calories but if we go to fucking mcdonald's you best bet he's gonna get a whole meal that's my issue no i won't why are you lying listen this is the problem i have like um i don't know to each their own but there's people promoting like protein this protein that and they put all the the ingredients for the food but like you're on a weight you're not you're on a fitness journey and it's still so many calories you know if it's a protein pizza and you're trying to like get fit, that shit's still like 800, 900 calories for that pizza. See, the way that I see it is you're better off eating that than going to the store and buying something. You're saving money and in the end, you're making it yourself so you know what's in it. So I think that when it comes to me, I feel like you, this is the reason, let me, you know, I'm going to be your therapist real quick. Got I feel you, like the you. reason why you don't last in diets is because you go to an extreme with it. And I feel like it's like this for a lot of people. Because it's not sustainable unless, unless you've just been doing it for so long and you're used to it. But I feel like you go to such an extreme that if you see like one gram of fat, you don't even want to eat it. And it's so, it's not realistic because mm -hmm. I feel like everything has like bad stuff in it. So I feel like you, you go extreme for like three, four days, but then it's like everything has fat in this and that, or, or you're eating like bunch of lettuce all day which is again not for some people it might be for us it's not you know mm -hmm. and i feel like for you that's the biggest issue is that you do it to an extreme the first three days and then you're like nah fuck that because you don't feel like you're living which you're not 
Yeah, like recently I just or yesterday I just made tuna and like now I'm on the tuna addiction. But at the same time, tuna I put what I put in the tuna doesn't make like sense for what. But I it's do, okay you know? because you're eating tuna instead of going and buying <laughs> whatever it is, right? But tuna is so good too. So I could I could be addicted to tuna. Remember that and time when I moved in my you. apartment? Tuna uh-huh. is so lean. Why is it because you're adding mayo? Oh boo hoo! It's a little bit of fat. Like I just feel like if you're able to instead of going out and eating a cheeseburger or whatever it is, and if you make tuna at home, it's better. You're doing something towards the goal that you're yeah. trying to achieve and i just think that that's something even i feel like i have to work on it but i'm not as strict on it for me it's like if i make it at home and if it's not like i don't know like a reheated cheeseburger from costco or whatever it is if i simply sit here and i make whatever it is whether it's chicken and i put oil in it i don't care because i know that i it's one it's chicken and two i made it at home you know mm-hmm. i just feel like if we go to the extremes i'm gonna get tired of it you think so? But oh, I think that, yeah. I, I feel like going to the extremes is what gets you the result you actually want, you know? But I'd rather be happy. Uh, I'd rather be mid and happy than like super lean and just like, damn, I can't eat that. I can't eat that. I can't eat that. But I feel like that's like a fuel for people when they're sad. They go to the gym and they get on that grind, you know? Like yeah. 90, I feel like 90% of people that are in the gym are sad. And that's that was including me when I was going to the gym. Mm-hmm. And then I found you, I got happy and then I got comfortable. Well, yeah, everyone's at the gym. Sorry, guys. Everyone's at the gym because they're not happy. And it doesn't have unless to be. They, unless it's like their lifestyle and they actually enjoy it. But you I know? feel like when I stop going to the gym, I get sad. Because it's just like, it's a routine. I'm not saying like depressed, but I'm yeah. saying like you're you're not happy. That's why you're at the gym because mm-hmm. you want to be in a better place in life. I feel like the gym really puts you at a better place. Even if you're seeing no results, dude, you feel better and you're proud of yourself. I love going to the gym and I, I feel like the pump and everything. But when I come home, that's when I'm like, damn. What did I go to the gym for? Because I'm about to eat some cereal or something, you You're know? You're too hard on yourself. Mm-hmm. That's but, your biggest issue. But I feel like I've always been hard on myself. Even when I was, bro, back then I was so skinny and I thought I was fat. I was like, God. Yeah, I think that you had. Um, so right now I feel like, I feel like I'm not, I'm not, on, I'm like on the middle of the chubbier side and like the normal side. But I don't even, I honestly don't even know in my own eyes because I feel like when I was skinny, I thought I, I looked the same, you know? Yeah. It's just crazy. I just think that you need to, um, you, there's definitely some issues there that need to be worked through. But, dude, it doesn't matter at the end of the day how you see yourself. It's how you feel. Like, if you feel heavy and if you feel unhealthy, that's what matters. Because I feel like even when I was really, really skinny, I didn't feel good. Really? I felt when I was, lightheaded. When I was overweight, I feel like I felt the exact same way, like way I feel right now. There's no way. I swear. You didn't feel unhealthy? Like no. your, your body? Mm-mm. I was like, why? I'm eating normal. I'm eating all this stuff. Why am I fat? You know? No way. I, I would have my backpack and put my straps up like that so I can, they can't see my, like, my man titties or nothing. There's no way. I swear. You feel the exact same. Dude, I feel different now that I'm heavier. Maybe, maybe your diet changes you, but ever since I was younger, I would always eat bad. Even when I got skinny. I got skinny because like I got sick and... I, I was like not eating, but even when I was skinny, I was skinny for like three, four years and I was still. So you didn't get skinny eating through eating good. You got skinny through an extreme. Yeah. See, I think that's what you need to work through first. It's like fixing the extremes because not everything has to be extreme. Yeah, I get you. You could totally cut. Like yesterday we went to the, well, I was at the gym. I went to the gym after I had been at my house. And because, dude, I just feel like literally it's about to be May. And I'm not where I want to be. And that makes me sad. And it makes me want to work harder at the gym. So I was like, no, I'm going to go to the gym. So I, anyways, I show up to the gym and I was doing 12, 3, 30 on the treadmill. And I told Jake like, oh, I'm doing cardio. If you want to come, I'm going to do back end abs, which he loves back chest, back um, abs. Like, no, he hates abs. But and then you tricked me with core, bro. She only said, hold up, come to the room. Cause I was like, okay, there's people coming in the gym. I go to the room. Oh, I thought that you went in there to do core with me. I didn't know we were going to do core. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Jake hates core. Like, he hates it. But core is so essential because core, if your core is strong, I feel like your whole body's strong. You know what I mean? Nah, if your dude, back is strong, or if your shoulders are strong, dude, you're it's be strong. because your core is everything. Like, you could be doing squats, and if your core is tight, like, that even helps. Mm-hmm. I know it sounds dumb, but like, I swear your core is everything. So I tell Jake, I'm like, core is everything. Like, let's do core. So um, last time that we did core together, you were like mad. And so this time, I was like, oh, come to the room because our gym is separated into like, there's like a yoga core ish room. And then on the other side, it's like weight trading and treadmills and all that stuff. So I was like, come to the other room with me. But I thought that you were okay to do core with me. I didn't know we were doing core. Oh, yeah. And then he was really mad. I wasn't mad. I was like, bro. Yeah, you were mad. It's because I was telling you five more seconds. And then you were like, I can't. And then you would just drop. I was like, bro, you were Stop mad. Stop making stories you up. You were mad. I didn't say, I can't. Yeah, you did. I just and would I like, I go, go to the extra seconds. Whatever seconds I would miss, I would do that extra after the time. He would get that. mad. And then as soon as we were done with the sets, he would like scream. Maybe it could have been because of your was, headset. You couldn't hear how loud you were talking. 
Yeah, that's yeah, I think why. So too. <laughs> I was blasting Lil Tay K. I'm Lil Tay K, and you didn't want the action. Who you want action, that? you gotta go that way. Gotta go that way. You get robbed for your record. You don't know Lil. T- you don't know Tay K. God. The music you listen to when I'm not with you is very different, bro. I posted like a rap song by I don't know, it was like T Grizzly or some. Bro, they're like Jacob. What you know about this, bro? I know all about that rap stuff, man. I was in that life, you know. Nah, that's kidding, bro. But you would all always listen to rap, huh? I listen to everything except country. Are you a country hater? And The Weeknd. I'm a, I'm lucky a Weeknd hater. Because you overplayed it for me, bro. I love The Weeknd, dude. All, you all we do... Weekend. I'm surprised I'm not... Uh, what's it called? Like, annoyed with Justin Bieber. Because all we listen to is Justin Bieber and The Weeknd. <laughs> but look it. <laughs> bro, all props to The Weeknd and everything. But I don't understand his music. Why? All he talks about is sex. That's his style. And it's not all sex. There's like five that are sexual. And it's like he uses two. It's like, I don't know. I don't want to get into Don't even let me get me. started on rap, okay? What? Money this, sex this, big bitch this, big butt this, big titty this. Like, no. Don't sit here shaming the weekend. That's not rap. What is it then? Country? That's my, that's my brother. Because if you're crossing him, you're crossing me. Yeah. Well, I've never heard that song before. Oh, my God. Uh, Anyways, point is, I can't believe you're a country hater. I like country. I'm not a country hater. You I used are. to be, but not anymore. I feel like you're always hating on country. I, I, I listened to Last Night by Morgan Wallen. Morgan Morgan Warren. Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen by him. Bro, that's a slapper. I like country. I like you. I think. Pe- <laughs> I like I, city then. <laughs> I think, hey, I think people that hate on country either have never listened to it. To are riding the hate bandwagon, right? That because everybody hates it, so like you don't hate it, you're weird. Um, because I feel like that's how I was. Like in I, high I feel school, like now there's a now there or the past couple years there's a what's it called like a bandwagon to like country. You think so? I think so, dude. I just think people are so dumb. Like you know how everyone gets really mad at people like who don't speak Spanish who listen to like Bad Bunny and stuff. Like why do you care? Like why do you like I don't care if you listen to Bad Bunny or like I don't know why that's an issue. Anyways, that same thing goes for country. Like a bunch Can of you like give me five. More minutes. You know that one? It slaps. That's a slapper. It slaps. That's what I'm saying. It's good. People just want to hate till they can be on the same train. Because people don't like feeling left out. Because I feel like that's how I was. Yeah. I was like, oh, everyone hates it, so I can't like it. What the? F- like, why Why do you care? Like, it's not, <laughs> you know? And it's so funny to make, see people get mad when you say you like something. It's amazing. Or it's funny when you when you say, like, you don't like something, and then people get mad at that, you know? Yeah. Like I was, I was talking about the weekend. I know, I know so many people are going to come at me like, why don't you like the weekend? Why don't you like the weekend? I like the old weekend, not the new weekend. You know, I guarantee you, I don't see him, but I guarantee you he see me. What? Oh my gosh, nah. You need to hop on your phone more and be more into like this meme stuff, bro. Anyways, like Kanye, no, Kanye, Justin Bieber's where it's at. Yeah, JB, wherever, wherever Dude, you're at, let me know. Wherever he was he's at, Coachella. I'm at. He was at Coachella, <laughs> yes. bro. <sighs> I know, he was there. He was there with Kendall. No, that was Bad Bunny. Damn, I'm losing track of the guys. I think he was there. <laughs> he, has a, he has a wife, bro. What do you, who else do you think he was with? I know. Anyways, I really like Justin Bieber. And the day I go to a Justin Bieber concert, I'm going to be really happy. But he never shows up to his concert, so I probably won't go to a Justin Bieber concert. Don't talk about my boy JB like that for real. Bro, I, you know, I was looking into it, and a lot of people were like, my boy never has finished a tour. Like, I guess he just, like, cancels shows. I don't know. Well, I mean, look at that mental the matter. mental stress it gets you, bro. Dude, I if there's one person I feel bad for in this world, it's Justin Bieber. Everyone's going to hate me because I just said that. I think so, too. This man was, do you remember? He was like 12 years old. Dude, and people were like so mean to him. I remember. And then like, do you remember when he, was it like? I wasn't a believer. I don't. He walked don't out know. of like a balcony naked or something like that. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. And they took and a they, picture of yeah, him. Yeah, and they posted it. Like, dude. And I think at that point he was a little older. But still, like, I just feel like he's gone through you so much. You would have watched that. You would. They, it didn't actually get out. They blurred it. No, they didn't. They said, How did well, I see I the saw, real thing there? Well, I saw it on a news outlet. So they can't post the real thing. I suppose you didn't go search it up. I didn't. Oh, but now I'm going to. I'm just kidding. Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, anyways, I do feel bad. I feel like he's one of the most, um, like, one of the childhood stars that got, like, one of the, the most shit ever. You want to talk about, like, people that were going crazy and then, like, you've seen them now? Like, you know how they have the before and then now? Like, it's they're, like, going... People that fall, fell off? I guess you could say fell off. You know, remember Grace Vanderwall? Yes, I, I do remember her. I don't think she fell off. She's still making music. Name. She's still making music. But, like, if she would have kept with that, I feel like she would be, more, like, higher up. I'm pretty sure she's happier where she's at she now. I think she did. I'm pretty sure I searched her up the other day. I, I think she does, like, hard metal or something something now oh i think she does you're right you know who like peaked with that kind of music not not hard metal who? but like with 
The, the Olivia Rodrigo. Dude, she got her fame from the fucking show and went to the moon. You know who else did that? Ariana Grande. Did she from what show? Sam and Cat. Oh, all those little... I never watched any of those shows. The ha 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 in the background. I hated those fucking shows. <laughs> Dude, I fucking I love those, those shows. shows. Like, why the fuck are they laughing? Like, you know you're a little you kid. You're a little giving, kid, you don't know. Like, when you hear the laugh, you laugh too, you know? Dude, it's giving, like, laughing at your own joke. Like, the producers were making them laugh at their own jokes. Bro, the producers... No, no, no. The so editors, cringe. The editors in those shows were, like... Base level job, bro. For Just real. Add, add a laugh here. And that's it. Yeah, that cut, was, cut, cut, that that was all. Right? Damn. No, I never saw any of that. My mom wouldn't let me. No, well, she would let us watch it, but I just thought that shit was so cringe. Right now, your little brother's watching, what's it called? South Park, bro. Dude, I know. Tito's so bad. Dude, South Tito is Park. so bad. I was never able to watch South Park. Dude, me either. Well, one, well, one, it would show at, like, I think, 11 p.m. Because it was an adult swim. And then that's like my mom. But it's just well, look at here. Let me tell you what the difference is. Oh, this is something that I actually want to talk about. I feel like kids growing up in this generation, I can't imagine how hard it is for them. <laughs> Can you imagine, Jake? Like we are growing up in a generation where like, I don't know. I feel like I we just made it out because I feel so? like when COVID hit, it's when social media blew up like TikTok and all these other Hell apps. Yeah, bro. So we made it out just in time. Any generation after us got the biggest hit, I feel. Yeah, I feel like right now if I was in high school, uh, all it would be like everyone was going to be like recording Recording you, you know? TikToks and shit, uh -huh, yeah. But when I was in high school, nobody really cared about that stuff. I was the person who was doing that in my high school. Like I was the little bitch with the, the iPhone recording. Well, but look I where you're at now. Huh? Look where you're at now. I know. But I'm saying like back then, or there was no TikToks or people weren't making like Instagram reels and nah, shit. Nah, but, but I knew you in high school. You were always mean. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, they're gonna, she's going to see this again. God, don't see this. Oh, my gosh. My timbers have been shivered. Like, <laughs> Anyways, so I feel like in this generation, it's a lot harder because, like, dude, for example, Tito, this man, like, everything that they talk about, it, well, if he doesn't know something, you want to know what he can do, he can go on TikTok and figure it out in, like, a second. That's first. Second of all, he is, like, all his little classmates or whatever it is, like, either... They're trying to be TikTokers and YouTubers or like they know me or they know Nelly or somebody. So now like it just, it's a different, it's a different space. And I feel like it's very difficult. So I, and another thing is that like my parents are always working. Mm -hmm. My parents work all day, like literally all day. So it's like, he's in the generation plus isn't under supervision of my parents. And my parents don't even like speak English like that. Like, so they don't know about this like what he's going through. Yeah, they don't know. On, you know. Like they don't know what the fuck South Park is, so they don't know to tell him not to watch it. And even if they did, doesn't matter because guess what? He just go search up clips on TikTok about it, <laughs> and then you erase TikTok, right? Okay, so now his friends are gonna send it to him or download it and send it to him through messages. So it's like the only fix is taking away his phone. That's the only fix. But then it's he's too deep in. Yeah, he's it's, it's an, ad an addiction now. I think. Yeah, he's too deep in. So if they take his phone now, it's like oh, you're a bad parent. So there, <laughs> there's no winning. I mean, now it's I whatever's think, gonna happen is gonna happen. But I, I think um, he has a screen time now. I don't think so. I don't think my parents know what screen time is. <sighs> no way. I didn't have screen time. I didn't know what it was. My Gianna, parents. Gianna had screen time. So Gianna was like the older sibling, and there was a, like a pretty big age gap. And she was the um, like the sibling where when we were growing up, she knew our everything. She was up to date with everything. So mm. she added screen time like my last couple years at the, I was at the house. And, but she didn't add it to mine. She only added it to Joel's because Joel's uh, Joel was doing bad. He was being a bad kid. <laughs> Joel was a bad kid, bro. I was. swear. Joel's been, still is, will be. No, no, no. He was worse. He was a snitch, bro. If you don't think, jo like right now, Joel's like, yeah, I got my chain. <laughs> I could box. I could do all this. My boy was the fattest snitch. <laughs> but I give him With props. With little goggle glasses. <laughs> yeah, but I'll, I'll give him props because he would always want to fight me. <laughs> I remember one time he got me good. Joel's bruh. hella funny. Yeah, Joel, Joel's funny. Joel's the funniest person ever. Mm -hmm. He's hella funny. But yeah, I I'll feel like it's sleep him. we didn't we didn't have screen time. Our screen time was like my dad would walk into the room and if you were on your phone, he would take it away for the next three to four minutes. You remember days. that, bro? When like you hear the mm -hmm. and then you, you just have to go like straight to sleep, like And we're talking 8 p.m. Like if we weren't asleep by 8 p.m., big trouble. But let me tell you the difference. Back then, my mom didn't work. My mom was a stay-at-home mom. So we were like, and my dad was super, super strict. Like, you guys think my dad is like, 
the dad my dad is now is not even one percent of what he was like my dad is super cool now and our relationship is super tight but it wasn't like that like my dad was super strict I, and i don't blame him i feel like that happens a lot when you grow up like when you grow up you get to the level where your parents are um, and the children are like friends not friends but like you're cool now you're yeah. so cool you can talk about well yeah because we're older now but like my dad was really really strict and i i really don't blame him because i had no business being in elementary school watching shows at what fucking 10 p.m why like dude go to sleep your school the next morning like i don't think i had any business and back then i think i got my first ipod when i was in like fifth grade or something like that so growing up up until fifth grade i didn't know social media i didn't know nothing i had a little nintendo but i didn't i didn't i know social media i think social media is the thing that's fucking people up thing, the thing that we grew up with was the nintendos and you have to go next to the other nintendo and like what is it? i think with the oh, same wi-fi yeah. you share and then you get in the same game or and something the same game that's what we grew up with which is still not good because it's like screen time but i'm just saying it's i think social media is the biggest issue do you remember on the nintendo that that orange frog app no. it was like and then they they created like a thing it was like we only had mario oh you didn't have the we, frog app no because you had to pay for all that no shit. it was free Oh, maybe it was like animation. Dude, stuff. I had the cube. I didn't have the. Oh, I had the Nintendo 3DS. Or no, no, oh, no, no, Nintendo no. DS. I. I had the DS, not the I, not the I. That was some rich kid shit. I had the um, we had the box, you know, little in like OG little box. Search it up. It's like literally a cube. We had that one, and then we had the DS, but like the old old DSs, like the white one. It was a small, no, a small it was pink. DS. You just got a pink. Oh, one. I don't know the colors. And then there's a DSi and then DSi XL. I have the XL. You rich ass motherfucker. I asked for it for my birthday, and then one time we went to Target, and my dad got a deal. It was like two of them for cheaper, and then me and my brothers got one. And you know what was cool about those things? That I feel like let me tell you the other the other issue that is now. With that, you couldn't connect with online people. At least not with my DS, not my version. Maybe with yours, but. Do you remember if you could do online with yours? You could you could have texted random people, but it was like very very like you don't know anything about them, and there were all little kids on the app right there. See, for me, I didn't. We there was no option to do like online texting, or maybe you had to pay for that feature. But maybe. for me, I didn't know it. Like you would just put in your little, it was a little memory card, and that was your game, and you'd put it in, and then that's how you'd play. And I feel like now, for example, like Fortnite and stuff, you could speak to random people like all over the chat. world, and then right. So that, there's just so many issues nowadays. And I think that like every day I realize more and more why some parents say that their kids don't have phones. Damn. Man. Makes sense. It sucks, but it, it makes sense. It's what if you're like a normal kid and you want to go outside and play like sports, but then all the other kids in like your grade, they're the, the iPad kids. That would suck, bro. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's very different nowadays, but we got out just in time. You think so? I think us, I think all threes, maybe all fours. We were the last of of what it is now. Because I feel like even Nelly in high school now, dude, like... I can't believe those are like 08s, no? Yeah, they're 08s. What? But Nelly's a freshman. Dude, but like, do you see <laughs> Nelly? Nelly's a really good example of what high school is like now. Like, TikTok. <laughs> literally TikTok. Like, everything they do is for TikTok. All right, Nelly, I'm going to talk shit on you right now. I love you and everything, but look it. <laughs> Stop with them cringy faces, bro. Post this on TikTok so Nelly can see. Look it. Nelly, oh you look gosh. fresh, bro. How you look is fresh, but you don't have to go. <laughs> like, if you're going to sing a song, sing that sing that song with some expression. Like, I like my job. I love my family. All that stuff. Don't be. <laughs> Dude, it's Do fucked up because it's true. <laughs> like, bro, there's been stages of life. Like, the past 10 years of Snapchat, everyone posts streaks. Everyone posts this. Like, you grow up out of it. But nobody has, all right, well, I'm just telling you, grow up out of that phase, you know, like, where you're fake lip syncing. The but I feel like that's everyone in her age group. It's just, that's what it is now. That's what high school is now. I, <laughs> all right, I, there was two girls in high school. There was the girls that had the funny ass memes and that was shit on you. And then there was and the girls those. that was the, the lip sync. Yeah. I would text the girls with the funny ass memes, not the lip sync ones, you know? Yeah, makes sense. I remember that. I remember the lip singing eras and stuff. They just move their lips like. Yeah, dude. but you know what? It's just. I feel like now because we have TikTok, you see more of it. Because before you'd only see the people on your Snap. But yeah, it's crazy. I feel like <laughs> or when, it's just or when you grew up out of the the streaks page, uh, the streaks uh, what's it called the streaks streaks phase? phase, yeah. And you're like in high school and everything, but you still see that one homie posting streaks or like hit me up. Oh, the rate. last person. Don't hit me up streaks or like rate rate or date. Dude, date or date. I remember the raids. Hit me up for a what is it? Hit me up for truth. No, no, to be honest, to be honest, or rate. Oh, dude! Or that's they so post cringe. like a thousand numbers, and then you pick a number. You send a number. <laughs> dude, I remember that. Hey, oh Loki, you'd gosh. get hella girls from that, though. You would get hella girls from that. 
That's crazy. Bro. That's that was a time. It was definitely a time to be. <laughs> you just had to be there. I'm so embarrassed right now, bro. Dude, but okay, you're embarrassed, but, but you have no trail of this. Imagine the people who are on TikTok right now, like Nelly, that's gonna come back to those videos. <laughs> There's a trail now. <laughs> Even me, like sometimes I'll go back to my YouTube videos and I'm like, why would I ever post this? Like now that's trails. Like now that's there forever. Mm-hmm. And I'm just oh. But you know what? You live and you learn. You live and you learn, literally, <laughs> you live bro. Live and you learn. Um, but yeah, so talking about what were we gonna hit on? Oh, talking, we're talking about the gym life. Yeah, the gym life. I feel like that's so hard, dude. And I feel like it's so hard for us to be at a place where we're happy and finding a balance because when we're focusing on eating right, we're not filming. Or maybe we're eating right and filming, but we're not editing. So then you just can't win. Or we're not spending time together. Or we're not spending time with the girls. Or something, right? And there's no balance. Because I hate filming in the gym. I feel like right now there's a there's a hatred towards gym creators and everything like that. Why? Why are you bringing a, why are you bringing a camera to the gym? Like, if you're on gym, to- gym TikTok, then you could see it. Like, all you see in the gym now is cre- uh, a tripod and a phone. Like, nah, bro. that makes sense, to be honest. I don't even blame them for saying that. But, but you see, you're, that's part of the problem, too. So, like, I don't even want to go to the gym and, like, vlog. I feel like... If they don't see your gains or they're going to be talking shit on you or whatever, I don't care. But I'm just saying like that. I don't want to bring the camera in the gym anymore. But let me tell you the other side. What's the other side? I feel like if you go to the gym and all you see is people recording themselves working out, dude, I'm going to leave. Because one, there's a lot of people that don't want to be filmed. and Then don't go. Is don't, that then a don't say, don't, say act, don't go to the gym because it's like. I'm going to the gym to work out. Yeah. You know, it's both, both so it, it's really not fair. Like, let's be real. So I, I see what people are saying. That's why, like, sometimes when I go to the gym, I film for, like, two minutes, three minutes, and I try to make it a time lapse and long enough because it does make people uncomfortable, and it, it makes sense. I don't blame them for saying that. Here's the other thing. People, oh, shit, sorry, guys. It's because I didn't ha- get a coaster. People are going to the gym now to create content instead of actually working out. Now, there's people that do have a balance. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. There is people that do have a balance. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to, no, are, does that have something in it? Does that have something in it? No, it doesn't. You're good. No, take it out because when you try to put the micro in there, there's going to be water and oh, it's going to ruin the go. footage. Um, I feel like there definitely is people that go work out and then also do their gym content, right? And then they have a balance. But there is a lot of people that are going to the gym just to record content because this is their job, which again, everybody has their own hustle and it's all okay. But people do have a right to be mad. Yeah. Right? Do you agree? Mm-hmm. Seen it through the flip side? Mm-hmm. But again, yeah, I mean, it's a gym. Anyone's allowed to go, so everybody just has to suck it up and find a balance. Either make your own home gym or, I, yeah. You know what What gym thing we should do? We should try Equinox. Like, go do a year or something and then cancel. Equinox? Like, the expensive ass gym that's, like, one. three hours from us? Is it three hours from no, us? No, it's not, but it's really far. It's, it, it's hours away That would be crazy, bro. Like, see, I feel like there's so much, there's a, such, like, a different, what's it called? Social status? If you go there? Yeah. Oh, I would definitely go if I lived near it. But I'm just you, saying, yeah, I would. Dude, you know how many connections you can make there? Hey. That's why. I feel like it's an investment, to be honest. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, all gyms do the same. It's not about that. I think it's more about like a lot of people go there because of connect. I would go there for connections because mm-hmm. like, dude, like I'm pretty sure. And I don't know if Equinox is one of the most expensive ones. I think I, there has, there to, be has to be a private one or something. Yeah, like a higher one. But I feel like I would want to go to that to like meet like business people, like people mm-hmm. up there because... They have all the knowledge Dude, of everything. Whoever you hang out with, I don't care what nobody says. A lot of people deny this, saying that like whoever you hang out with won't rub on you. It will. It will. It will. I'm telling you. I would have this argument with my mom all the time because she'd be like, whoever you hang out with, that's who you're going to be. So don't hang out. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, no, it's not going to rub off on me. Da, 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 da. It does. Mm-hmm. It does, dude. It rubs off. So I feel like hanging out with people who are always hanging out with someone higher than you. <laughs> that's, that's the key to life hang out with someone higher than you and then but I, I i always hear when people say that but then like who are you gonna hang out with like if someone that wants like the person higher than you is not gonna want to hang out with you you know yeah you're the leech on them mm-hmm. but that's fine because now you're gonna there's gonna be someone leeching on you and then you're gonna be friends with them too the point is always find at least one person that's higher than you and learn from them take all the advice you can and it's not it sounds mean when i put it in leeching but it is kind of what it is yeah i'm just being straight up mm-hmm. You know, but you don't think that hanging out with someone higher than you is like smart. I do think it is smart. It's mental, like a mentorship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to like see what they like. I don't know. You want to take, dude, when you hang out with successful people, like you learn so much. Yeah. 
you learn so much like from our realtor she's super super successful and i feel like every time i hang out with her i'm like i want to be you dude like i want to be her she's so knowledgeable she's so prompt like i i just i love the person she is so that's what i'm saying always hang out with someone Mm -hmm. someone higher than you so yeah if there was an equinox here you best bet i'd be going to it and then another thing is i don't know we're gonna get i guess in the business world When we when we started hanging out with like more business people and everything, it just made me feel worse, you know. Like, gosh, I thought I was doing so good in life, and now I have to do. Yeah. I have to wait so much more time for this. Like, bro, we have good established credit on our personal incomes, bro, and everything. But now, when we get into like, are right, you going to buy a business a business purchase and everything? Oh, I don't have business credit, so you have to wait two more years after we worked our asses off for the past couple of years building our personal income, and now we have to get business credit to buy a business uh, anything business wise, you know. That's so why, like, did you ever, um, when in, you were in English class, did you ever hear the statement where they were like, um, if you're comfortable, you're not growing? Mm-hmm. I truly believe that's true. And I remember when our teacher asked us this, she was like, is this true? And I was like, no, because if I'm comfortable, then that means that I'm comfortable enough to open my mind and learn. But no, it's not true. Because if you're comfortable, well, you're comfortable. Well, everyone could be comfortable in their own ways. I agree with that. But I feel like if you're, at the same time, if you're comfortable, you're not going to grow. You're not going to grow. Like, you're going to be in your house, and then you're going to be comfortable in there. You're not going to want to move houses. Y- yeah, you're not. You're going to want to stay in the same spot, which it's okay to be comfortable, but I don't know. Not for in me. In all honesty, I can be comfortable in this house, but I know I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna be comfortable in a couple of years, you know? Yeah. So, so you, you have to keep yeah. growing. Dude, I feel like whenever we do hang out with someone that's, like, really up there, I feel like we get so motivated. Like, we get so mo- – like, another thing is, so I had gone to – um. Beverly, the, what is it? Rodale Drive for, I don't know what. We have. Oh, remember when we were going for my um hip thing? Yeah. Okay, so when we were going out there, dude, every time I'd come back, I would realize, like, you're no one, girl. Like, you are not one person. You don't even have, like, 1% of the wealth that people have. Not even point zero 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 one percent Or knowledge. Of or knowledge. And I feel like every time we'd come back from that, I would just want to work harder. I hate going to LA, bro. Dude, me too. I feel like a little fucking <laughs> like roach. Ro- Rodeo, oh hell no! Dude. You see a Lambo, you see a G. Nah, G wagons are like, bro. We nah, 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 G wagon. Hey, I want one. Stop! Don't, don't, don't shit on. You could have gotten a G wagon, bro, I but know. they're so ugly in this inside. Ugh, it's Anyways, too small. we hate LA because <laughs> makes us feel like pieces <laughs> of shit. <laughs> yeah. It just, dude, they're just so wealthy out there and so successful. Like we drive by the houses and I'm like, damn it. Dude, big ass houses, yeah. the neighbor house is like a normal house. Like, ah. Dude, I know it's so crazy, but you know what? Every time we come back from there, we want to work harder. Mm-hmm. We want to work let's harder. To, let's make a trip to LA. Dude, just to see rich ass people out there. Yeah. <laughs> and every time I come back to like my city and like, you know, like the people around me and stuff like that, and I'm like, oh, wait, I do have a lot. But no, because every time I think that I have a lot, it makes you comfortable. So I'd rather think that I have nothing because it just makes you want to keep trying for more and more and more yeah. and more and more and more. And I feel like that's a problem that a lot of people have. They they get too comfortable too quick and then they don't elevate from there. But another problem people have is that they are never satisfied and you'll never be happy. I feel like there's never enough money you'll have to be happy. There's never enough success and you'll be happy because every time you reach a new level of success, you just want more. And that's an issue too because people will never be happy. Well, okay, so I heard a podcast um, that Kevin Hart said. He was saying like, it's not fun having my own money because the people that he um, he's around don't have the money. Mm-hmm. It's it's fun when you bring someone up. So I'm glad we're doing this together because if if it was just you, I'm um and like I'm all way at the bottom, and you wouldn't you wouldn't be having fun, you know? No, why would I have fun if you're not like with me? So that's why I, like I I want to influence my brother, my younger brother, to get up um uh, and like do social media too because if it's if the pl- uh, the platform is like offered to him why wouldn't he take advantage of it yeah so i want him to get up it'd be cool like having my family up too yeah and i feel like not just our family though i feel like our we're friends. always giving to Dude, everyone yeah, yeah we're always giving him um, advice and everything and our advice is pretty strong i wouldn't say it's like bad advice like right now we're giving advice to our friends a smarter choice and i just see myself in those people yeah um from the past like my past self it was it's a whole different person than i am now because bro if all honesty and I, I did all the stuff I could um, in the past. I'd be stuck with a scat pack. I'd, what else would I be stuck with? Some some super fast cars and all yeah. that stuff. Like to try to be like cool, I guess, to yeah. fit in. But I love my truck that, that I have now. That would have been your so first much. car, yeah. It would have been my first car. But mm-hmm. I I went from, uh, what did I get? I got the Mazda instead. I'm so happy Mazda. I got the Mazda. Dude, Which that was still not a good choice. It but. wasn't, but I would be with a, a scat pack right now. Yeah. That scat pack wouldn't have been a good choice either. The dogs don't even fit. We can't mm-hmm. camp, can't road trip. 
Dude, remember? And I would, so Jacob, I think it's just because, again, oh my gosh, perfect example. Whatever you're around, you will get, it will rub off on you. So his friend Oscar Rangel, that you guys know him, he had a scat and he would drive you guys around. And so Jacob would see that and he was like, I want one, I want one, I want one. And it, it just rubs off on you. It's so cool though, being the chuck in the friend group, because bro, you could just hike you need a grill? All right, I'll take the grill in the truck. Oh, yeah. You need a hollow holla, uh, can am? All right, I'll holla can am for you, yeah. bro. I feel like you need you need the truck though. So W choice by now? W choice, thank you. <laughs> I just like I remember my parents would tell you like Jacob get a truck, and then you. I remember my parents say, told me too. Yeah, my parents like, like look no. at the truck. My dad was like, if you don't get a truck, bro, and then I was like, I want a I want a sedan. I want a small car. I don't know why I wanted a small I car. Know. Did I have I a think, small car? I think it was because of the fear of me like not knowing how to drive in a big old car. There's not really a big difference. It's just like you're wider. Dude, I didn't even give you an option. I say, <laughs> drive Take this it. bitch home. <laughs> hey, but I learned fast. Now yeah. I can rever- I'm a reverse park pro. I do everything now. Yeah, you know how I drive really good now. Thanks. Like really, really good. I'll be good. honest. Do you think I drive better than you or no? Um, I think it depends on the situation. I think under pressure and stuff like that, I drive better. Like when we're in LA and stuff and you want me to drive. Like remember the day that we were at the driveway and like you wanted me to reverse because there's like so much clutter and cars and just like all that stuff. I think in that situation, I drive better. When it comes to like um, day-to-day stuff, I feel like I get really frustrated and you don't. You're way more calm. Dude, yeah, I be driving in the slow lane. Like I, as long as I get to my location yeah. safe, you're like, why are you here? Why are Dude, you Dude, yeah, lane? and I get really frustrated so I kind of threw them out of places and it's not safe. So I think that... Yeah, you drive better than me in certain scenarios. I think that you're... I think I have a lot more miles than you too, to be honest. Like driving yeah, wise. Yeah, I think you've driven a lot more in the two years that you've been dri- driving than me in my four years that I've been driving. Damn. Yeah. I've but I driven- think I've seen more. So that's why I know... Because I've been in accidents and stuff. And I know... like do I know so- when the accidents happen, I feel like it does set you back. I can tell how you drive. Like it sets you back. Like you're like, oh shoot. But I have the, I have the yeah. mentality of like, I think an accident is going to happen every time. So... If I'm merging to the right, I look at the car on the next lane in front, like, so if they uh, want to come in my lane, you know. But let me tell you something. So when an accident happens, you see certain, like, however your accident happened, now whenever you see that same scenario, dude, you, you, you see it differently. It? So, oh. like, for example, like, when I got rear-ended at the, the light, like, now, whenever I'm at a light, I always, always, I'm looking back and I'm scared and I always want a car to be behind me. Not, I don't want to be the last one in the lane. Stuff like that, uh-huh. that like now I know what can happen. Or when I was in the accident on the freeway, when the traffic stopped, like now whenever it's traffic stopping in that certain way that it happened that one day, you're just more paranoid and more aware and more, yeah, you're just more aware of what can happen because you've been in those accidents. Does that make sense? Yeah, I feel like recently, I don't know what it, when it was, it was a couple months ago, like um, I had a break suddenly and you're like, Jake, Jake. And you're like a little bit like teary eyed, like oh, out of nowhere. Yeah, I and I was, crying, I was yeah. like, it just, cause dude, the, it's trauma. trauma like, uh-huh. dude, when you crash, you're, I don't know how to explain. You just have to be in an accident to know what I'm talking about. But yeah, things really do change. Like, again, it just has to do with like experience. A lot more experience, yeah. like, because I've been doing it for a lot longer. You see more things on the road. But I think that you're really good at driving for the amount of time that you've been driving. I think you're like probably at the same level as me. Do you watch car accident videos or no? No, I stopped because I was getting paranoid. It's the same scenario with like the drama, not the drama podcast, the um, true crime podcast. I can't, I can't see them. And it does make you more aware, but it's paranoid. I feel like that's the reason why I always watch that stuff. Like whether it's crime, true crime or like a uh, car accident and stuff like that. I have to watch that to know like scenarios that can happen and what I would do if I was in that situation. So I could prepare myself for like real life situations, just like swerve, break or do something, you know? And and I agree. But I feel like when we were listening to all those true crime podcasts, dude, I didn't want to leave the house because mm-hmm. I was scared that at the grocery store, some guy was going to come and slit my throat. So it, it, like, I don't know. That's a difficult thing. Yeah, it is. But it just keeps you aware, you know? Yeah, I agree. But yeah, being the, the truck guy is definitely. So let me tell you guys something. So I want to upgrade Jake's truck. It's something that's been on my mind and I want to do it so bad and I'm going to do it. <laughs> no, because, let me upgrade my truck. So here's my plan. So Jacob, I just fucked up. I got him the truck. What is that buzzing? Did you hear that? No. I got Jake's truck the last year. Before up. the interior remodelization. Yeah, I fucked up. We I didn't know. know. I didn't know. Everybody knew though. When they texted, when they um seen the truck video, whatever it came out, they're like, oh, you should have waited till next year. I didn't know, dude. I had no fucking but I, clue. I didn't know what they meant until like the next truck came out. I was like. No way. Yeah, that dude, a new I, interior, a big old screen. Yeah, I didn't know. I fucked up. I had not a fucking clue. So now Jacob's basically stuck with a, like, 
It's a new truck, but it doesn't look very new. I don't mind it, though. It's still very modern. No, but I mind it because, like, well, how am I going to be whipping around this car that has 360 cameras, da 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 and then you have this little bitch-ass screen that's smaller than my phone? Like, it's not okay. <laughs> Especially it being such a new car. It's okay. We'll wait for the Meteor to come out, and then we'll think oh about it. Either my the God. Between the Meteor or the TRX, that's it. No, I really like the new Chevys, dude. They're so bougie. The Meteor is a Chevy. Yeah, but I wonder when it'll come out. Next year, 2024. We have to wait a whole year. No, this, like, in November. Oh, okay, so then maybe we'll get you that truck. Maybe the Meteor. Bro, have y'all seen the Meteor? I suppose it's a, it's a CT5 um, engine, like, supercharger, bro. Yeah, I think you're going to be really happy with that car. Dude, I've been trying to convince my parents to get a new car, and they don't want to. You know how old that fucking Tahoe is? I know I always make jokes about it, calling it the old mobile and stuff. No, it really is. It's like 20 years old. But at the same time, it's a, it's a paid off car. So it's like- I know that's what my dad says. But the way I see it and I, the way that I tell my dad, it's like, dude, your cars are all paid off. All of them. Like you make good money. Your house is almost paid off. Like live life a little bit. I feel like my dad works too much. Do you agree? Oh, he's not comfortable. This you man, can't, you can't tell him to stop working if he's and he's he's also Mexican. Like you know, Hispanic parents, you retire them, they're gonna still work. I know, bro, but it makes me mad because like he can work and that's okay. But I feel like on the weekends, I feel like he should really enjoy what he has, and I don't think he does. And this is an argument I have with him all the time that it's like you don't enjoy your life. Like you're so caught up in what's gonna come next week for your work. You're so caught up in that that you don't enjoy your life. Like this man should be whipping around like a 2025 fucking SUV. Like mm -hmm. I don't know what he's doing, and I really tell him, and he's just. I feel like my dad. It's more of like maybe paranoia of like him losing everything. Because he came from nothing. Yeah. It makes sense. But at the same time, I'm like, no, like you should enjoy your money because you're young right now. And like, it'll come a time where it's like you racked up all this money for what? For what? Because you can't enjoy it no more. Well, you have to remember that it's not just him. He has younger siblings too. So everything. Nelly's that good. I'm good. Edith's good. It's just Tito. And Tito doesn't need millions of dollars to be raised. Mm, you're right. That's my dad. That's what I try to get my dad to understand. It's like. You don't have any, you don't have to make a living for a whole family anymore. You just have to raise Tito at this point. And Tito doesn't need millions of dollars. Well, no, but he is spoiling your mom though. And spoiling your mom is so expensive. You know? I guess. I so disagree. That, so spoiling your mom is a couple monthly payments. Okay, but car. they could okay, but they could save instead of getting a bag, they could um get get a, have a nice car. Yeah. And they could have a bag and a nice car. But it just shows you the priorities. Not enjoying his money <laughs> like bro no and nobody knows my parents financial status but me so mm -hmm. like i know and i'm like why, why? Just. <laughs> i just think that they could do it and my dad has always been like this because even when we got the tahoe because i remember i don't know if you guys have seen videos of my dad's old 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 fucking car like i'm talking like nine 1800s car <laughs> like this bitch doesn't even it's run a horse or what <laughs> dude it is so old bro like I know I make fun of the Tahoe, but like, no, I'm being serious. Like this car is actually old. It's like older than my parents. Like it's old, right? Like so old. Like how do I explain it? Like, you know, those cars that are on the street, they get to put your windows up. Cause like the smog is like killing you that kind of old. So my dad got it because it was like, my dad got it. Not even as a real car. It's cause he liked the car. And it's kind of like a collection car. I don't give a shit what it is. Like that shit is that ugly. Yeah. Round one. <laughs> that was so, nice. It's a donk. It is not dude. It literally is a fucking donk. <sighs> Anyway, so he got this car. It was that one, and it was just because he liked it. And then we had, like, a Grand Victoria, but it was, like, a super old Grand Victoria. I don't remember. It was in the 1900s, like, an old car, but, like, old. It would always heat up. Like, we couldn't go over, like, 40 miles per hour. You couldn't turn on the AC while you were going 40 miles per hour. Like, it was a lot. There was so many issues with it, right? And then, like, that shit would break down all the time. We'd have to call my dad. My dad would have to come home from work, fix it, because we were stuck at random places. So we always had those two cars. We had so many issues with them. And my parents um decided to get a house back then they got a house instead of getting cars which is genius smart genius but then we could have gotten a car because we're talking years after they got the house like i'm talking like maybe 20 2010 uh -huh. 2010? when the car came, when the tahoe came out no 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 2010 okay they got the tahoe in 2014 or 15 i don't remember so they could have gotten a car and we there was points where like we couldn't go anywhere because the cars wouldn't work. Like, no car would fucking work. Like, they were all broken. That's how we were. Dude, you know how, like... But here's but, my issue. But the, the, the thing is that the oldest car that was at the in the in the driveway was the only one working. Oh, not for us. That was my dad's donk. 
That shit did not work, bro. It's never worked. It's never worked. It always overheats. Like, it just doesn't work. So we would have those two cars. And then I feel like my dad was always scared to get a new car because you're scared of the unknown. And, like, my parents, they don't have no one to fall back on. Like, I have my parents to fall back on. Mm -hmm. They don't have nobody to fall back on. So it's like if they blue money or whatever it was like they were gonna end up on we were gonna end up on the street so they didn't have anybody to fall back on so my dad was always afraid like we can walk or or we can just not go for, to far places with our cars but like he just wanted us to have a house which makes sense and my dad's really like brave for that but then like there was a point where it's like yeah like we needed a new car like my dad was doing really good in work like um they had enough money to get a new car for us, and we needed a new car. It came down to the fact that we needed a new car, right? And he didn't want to because he was so scared. And I feel like that's how he is now. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, I know you could afford it, and you should. Like, I, I feel like... But now, back then, it was more of a necessity. This time, it's just because he needs to be a little bougie king when he has the money for it, mm-hmm. you know? And it, it's just, I don't know. that. And that car's paid off, so I'm like, dude, you'll get... Good money from that car because it has no miles because you never drove it. Dude, that car has no miles, literally. Because I almost he was, passed him. Dude, because he was so, like, scared to mess up his new car that he had worked so hard for. And he was just so scared to mess it up that he didn't even want to drive it. So we were still in our rinky-dinky old car. <laughs> so you have the new car and then you still were using yes, the old car? Yes, <laughs> dude. Yes. Yes. No. Bruh, bruh. so, oh, my gosh. My, I feel like my dad just, like, knows the value of a dollar, so he was just so scared to mess it up. But you know what? Some things, even with us now, like, when we get the new cars and stuff, he'll always be like, hey, you're going to put the dogs in the car? And don't step in the car with, like, the dirty shoes or da 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 right? And I'm like, Dad, it's okay. Like, it's okay. Like, if Ellie fucks up the car, like, th- Dude, it's okay. Dude, these girls are so privileged. Remember when we couldn't even slam a door? You, it, or you you close the door yeah. and it's loud, bruh. Nah, I leave the like, fuck it up. I don't care, <laughs> dude. And so I, I always tell my dad now, I'm like, you have to enjoy these things because they're not gonna be here forever. Like it's a new car. Or oh, remember, remember when we got the Benz and he was like, so are you you're gonna use your Blaze for the daily, right? I'm like, dad, I'm gonna use whatever car I want to use for the daily. Like I'm gonna use this new bitch because it costs so much to get it, and you have to enjoy these things. And he's so bad at that. Mm-hmm. This is just a shit talking podcast about my dad. Hopefully, it inspires him. No, it's not. What we're going to do is we're going to drag his ass to the dealership on a Sunday and we're going to have to force him to get the damn car. <laughs> He's not going to do it out of his own will. But look, he wants a truck and your, your mom doesn't want a truck. No, they both want trucks. I, I don't want them to get a truck. What do you want them to get? I want them to get another SUV. Get? No. Why then, do we need two trucks in the family? Bro, we're going to get an SUV after your bla- after your Mercedes or whatever, after the Blazer. We need a bigger... We have two mid-size SUVs. Um, yeah, mid-size SUVs. Yeah, what do we need we're going to gonna upgrade the Blazer to something bigger, like a nine-seater or something like that. A little a minivan. A nine-seater? A the- little Sprinter van. Bro, a Sprinter van is a dream. Imagine like a little off-road Sprinter van. That's sick. Yeah, we need a Sprinter van. That would be sure. sick. For Take road trips, the whole trips, family. Bro, the Mercedes ones are fire. Yeah, we need to look at them. Oh my God, we should totally get a Sprinter van. Dude, Just I want Just whipping around a Sprinter van. That'd be dope. As we got no space right now, though, so we gotta get a house first. It would be a house first, yeah, no, for sure. But they they have the space, so they need to do it. We're gonna, guys, please like watch the ads because we are going to help my dad get a new car. Yes, like even if we're gonna have to put the down payment for it, I don't care. Like we're gonna figure it out, but we're gonna because I feel like again he can do it, but I feel like if he sees us give him the down payment, he'll be he'll feel a little bit more like like relaxed, or mm-hmm. he'll feel a little bit more like okay, you know. I think it because the down payments throw away money, bro. It literally throw away money. You'll never see that money again. Never. Gone. Unless you sell the car and you get the value worth, but that's rare. That's literally like 0% chance. <laughs> unless Actually, it's a, in unless this it's market, a super car. A super car. It depends what type of car it is. Yeah. But I think uh, my dad's Tahoe has a lot of value because it doesn't have any miles in it. But we're going to do it. So please watch the ads because we're, we're going to um, do this for my dad. Like we're like, going to get him a new car. Or like click on the ad and then just push done or whatever. And then that's it. You could skip after that. Yeah. But we're going to do it. We are. We're going to do it. I don't care. That man is done, okay? Let's get him the meteor. My dad the meteor? No, we're not getting them a truck, babe. Uh, This is an argument I have with my mom like every day because my mom wants a truck, right? But I tell her, I'm like, mom, listen, trucks are amazing, right? They're so amazing, but only one person needs a truck in the family because trucks have their downfalls, okay? You can't leave anything in the trunk, ever. Unless you have a, uh, what's it called? Even then, I, I still wouldn't like trust leaving because that's still it's a little plastic cover yeah you're right so th- it does have its downfall oh and trucks don't fit in their garage that's another downfall and my dad's not gonna want to leave the truck outside and then another thing is like trucks are just they waste more gas by a lot right and like you only can sit five people in them and they have a big ass family we have a big ass family 
So, yeah. I'm trying to convince them not to, but they're, my mom just wants to whip around a truck. I'm like, just whip around Jake's whenever you want a truck. <laughs> it's not convenient. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's cool for sometimes. Another thing is, like, when we go grocery shopping, um, it, like, only heavy shit can go in the back. Yeah. If not, it flies out. Fly out. So then whoever's going in the back seat gets groceries filled in their laps, you know? And by that would be the girls. But, <laughs> yeah. That's my point. So there is downfalls. Do you agree? I guess you could say those are downfalls, but. Bro. What do you mean? Okay, fight me right now. I want to fight. I'm in fighting energy. Like, Everything what? you said about the chunk, you just get a chunk cover. That's it. But then your truck looks mid. No, it doesn't. It looks fire still. When they have a chunk cover, it looks fire. The only ones that are ugly, I think, that are the are the newer trucks that have the, the chunk cover that goes over it, you know? The ones that are, are curved on the thing. Huh? It's like, there's a flat Oh, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ones that are like that. Yeah, I yeah. like the ones that just go, they roll back automatically. Okay, so fix the garage situation. That they don't ah, fit. That they don't fit. Gotcha there. Well, what truck, dude? Any any SUV, big SUV, won't fit in the garage if a truck doesn't fit the garage. That's a lie. The, the Tahoe size. fits. The same size. The Tahoe fits. Uh, put, get a new Tahoe. Get a new Tahoe and side by side it to a a truck. It's gonna be the same size. No way. Yes. Jacob, no way. If you get a suburban, that's even worse. Well, a suburban's for sure not gonna fit in their garage, but there's no way. Hey, dude. who's crying? Um, no, I'm, I swear it's shorter. No. Okay, you win. You win. Is that what you wanted to hear? You win. And what garage is like that that small, you know? My dad's. Oh, the one in Arizona was actually small. It's because those are old houses. Mm. Old houses had like little ass garages because there wasn't any logging trucks back then. It was just, you know, little tiny trucks. Little Tacomas. Those are fire, bro. The older the old Tacomas are so fire. Oh, I seen the one that got red. The one that, yeah, the we were, got, I was there. You guys remember the red truck? Remember that it got Oh, were you there? I was there. You met you, the red truck? All you, all you hear is boom. And then you, the guy's, he was like um, falling asleep in the car. Yeah, my dad cried for sure. He didn't tell me, but I'm sure he cried. It was meant to be because that truck was just blocking a spot. In the no, parking that, way. no, I'm sad about that truck. Really? You that, that truck, truck worked. Yeah, I'm sad about See, that. See, that's one. what I'm telling you. The older cars, they were the, the best working ones. And that one was old, huh? That one was in the 19s too. Oh, you're right. That one was old as fuck too. But and that I one think, worked. I think that's why my dad liked driving the older cars more because he he would work on them and like fix them to the uh, their full potential, and they wouldn't like ever let them down. That's why he I think it depends on the car. We then. had we had a nice ass Avalanche, and then we also had a Ford Explorer, an older Ford Ford Explorer, and he would drive us in the Ford Explorer. It it was old. Uh, yeah, like you have to turn it on and you have to wait for the. And then he. That's could, every old car, no? Because I feel like every car I've ever had does that shit. Maybe up but until our new car. He will never whip rip around in the the newer car. Why? Um, because it was it wasn't as reliable, I guess. So then it wasn't like new new. It was just like newer new, than the other one. It was new new at the time. And it didn't work. Or it wasn't as my mom. Either my mom had it, or like the brakes stuff like that. You know. Oh, see, this is why we lease our cars. Yeah. Because cars these days are still shit. Bro, but our lease. We're gonna run through our lease. It's gonna be a rant. It's gonna be a thotty lease. Oh my gosh, yeah. So we've decided, um, so we lease our cars now because Nat doesn't like to keep cars for long. And you don't either. I do. I'm not going to, no, you don't. Okay, you're Why saying, are you lying? Like, the, like the topic you're saying, like, I don't, uh, or he doesn't need a car, but I don't need a truck either. But you want to upgrade. Like, I could stay with that truck for the next seven years. But why? Ten years. But why? Because it gets me from point A to point B. Yeah, but you're paying so much money for, you could be paying the same amount of money for something better. That's where, I, that's, where the lease, that's where the lease comes in, though. Yeah. So don't make me sound bougie here. I'm a little bougie, but it's also because it's just not smart. If, you could, if you're going to pay the same amount of money for something else that's better, why not get something better? Are you agreeing with me mm -hmm. here? Come on, you're making me sound crazy. No, no, I do agree with you. Right? Because we have the connects now. Before, when you got me the truck, we didn't have the connects. That's another thing I tell my dad. I'm like, dude, I have someone that can really get us a good deal, bro. Like, I'm telling you. So the point is here that, come on, you make me sound crazy. No, You're just I get agreeing. you. I get you. They're going to think I'm crazy. She's not crazy. <laughs> it's just. Uh, she's just a little loca. <laughs> Have you seen that guy, the bald guy on TikTok? No. Just, she's just a little loca. He has sticks his tongue out every time it's an S. Like. No, I just think, obviously, if you're upgrading for something that's out of your um, budget, then no, that's not smart. I didn't say do that. I just said if there's something that's the same and you can get whatever. I'm done. I'm done speaking. Y'all want to hear some new tea? No. What? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Joel and Nelly met up this weekend. Oh my gosh. They did. And nothing happened. Nah, nothing happened. They, oh my gosh. They literally all all that was like you guys put out there, bro. They're they're homies. That's it. I don't even think they're homies, Jake. They don't speak. They're like mutuals. You know, mutuals. They're not like, mutuals. You don't think so? It's Joel and then there's Nelly. They're not even <laughs> friends. They, they didn't even talk that much. They were just like hi, hi. 
that much. Literally, I think I don't even know if they said they, hi. They to each did other. say hi. Oh, okay, okay. I okay. think so. Yeah, You're trying to stir up drama, bro. No, like I'm, I'm saying, like all that fantasy that they had, it was, it was just for the, the yeah. We told the them. Video. We told them that it was all a lie. Anyways, can we talk about um how we were supposed to get a podcast company and then we didn't know? Dude. <sighs> I think this is like a big problem in the social media industry is like these companies give you this big deal. They're going to do so much for you. They're going to bring you so much money, so much blah, 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 blah. But in reality, they're the ones stealing from you. Yeah. Right. And I, I feel like we've heard so much about that, that company in, in particular that we don't even want to work with them to begin with. But it wasn't that the issue. It was just like, so we were speaking to a company that we were going to potentially, um, work with for our podcast to have it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and like all that stuff. And we had even gotten down to like the contract part, you know, and like all that stuff. But the issue was just that it came down to like percentages and stuff. And we just didn't align with that just because I feel like we work so hard on our podcast, dude. Like we work so, so hard. We, we have to uh, like create time in the day when we're, when our weeks are really busy. That's like, for instance, this, this podcast is going up the same day we filmed it. Yeah. And they just like, we get the, we have to send them clips. They we pay them the money and then they upload it. Like, yeah. And it's not guaranteed that you're, they're going to give us a an ad in the exactly. video or something like that. So I I just like it comes down to like if we're not if we're not aligning with percentages and stuff like, dude, this podcast gets us so much hate, like so much hate. And now I don't even get the full money after I'm getting flamed. Yeah. Like, nah. If I'm gonna get flamed, I'm gonna get the, the full check. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Oh, the full check. Like what? I'm not doing that. So yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see um, what happens. <laughs> if I get flamed, with the full check. You're yeah, done. bro. Because like you know, like that's the only good thing that comes from getting flamed is that the checks are high those months. <laughs> They're high, huh? Which is good. Not pay, that good. They're pretty good, but it's not worth your mental health. Yeah, it's not. But they're high. <laughs> you can't deny. I mean. You can't deny they're high. Oh, my God. I knew you were going to use it. I rhymed that. Give me the credit for that. Anyways, the point is that we didn't. So we're going to, um, we were thinking about getting our podcast up on, um, like, Apple and Spotify ourselves. But we just, uh, we're new to this. We don't know anything about podcasts and stuff like that. So um, we're going to look into it and see if we could do it. Mm. If you guys want us to do it. I don't want to, though. But I know you guys, a lot of you guys are just like They're listeners. always asking. Yeah. I know, and I feel really bad. And unless you have YouTube Premium, you could play without even like turning. You could turn on the phone off if you have Premium, but if you don't, yeah, then you can't. But that's do that. fourteen dollars a month. So fuck that. Yeah, so we'll see, guys. We'll look into it, but um, things didn't go the way that we wanted them with that company. Anyways, so Thea got an infection. Sadly, she had an infection, bro. We knew we got her. So we got her spay the last podcast. We, we were telling you guys about that one, but then one day, at, like it was like the second day that we had her, she took her cone off in her crate. And all of a sudden, she's just crying in the middle of the night. So I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. she has to go pee. I go and I check. It's out of, she's not even with a cone. Like, her lips are all, uh, all like, slobbery and everything. I'm like, damn, she licked it. I know she did. But I yeah. didn't notice anything because I looked, and I, it didn't look like anything bad. But the infection developed from there. The, the infection, I think, developed, like, three days later. Yeah. And we seen, like, yellowy pus coming out of it. So I was like, oh, shoot. So we called the vet the next morning and scheduled her appointment. But I also noticed that her incision was a bit open. That's and Ellie's was feeling fine. Ellie, yeah, Ellie's is sealed and dry. Like, Ellie's is good. Because Ellie's not curious. Whatever you do to her, she'll be like, oh, my bad. I, I, I won't do this. Dude, Ellie's hella Thea's like, what are you doing to me? Yeah, and she'll be like looking and licking her butt in her, yeah. <laughs> and so I noticed that it was a little open. And yeah, sure enough, I called yesterday, first thing in the morning. And I was like, Thea, I think has an infection. They got her in and they put staples on her. Yeah, they had a staple it to close it up again. Oh. Now she's on an ointment and we put the ointment on her. And she just licks it off, bro. I know, dude. Thea's... <sighs> Thea's a menace. Just Thea's a headache. I love Thea, though. Thea's my Thea's baby. hella funny, but she'd be fun to sleep like, oh, dumb. Look at her. I think she hears us calling her, but she's asleep and she's wiggling her tail. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, she got an infection, but hopefully she will be doing a lot better, guys. But for now, she, um, yeah, she has that She's infection. on bed rest. She's not supposed to be doing any exercise. She has to, like, heal for the next couple, two weeks, I think. Yeah. But Ellie's, like, really cracked and out. Ellie's so she's cracked just... out. She wants to play. I know. <laughs> Ellie's like, where's my homie at? So where's anyways, my we're getting third golden. To play no, with Ellie. No, no, no. I don't Jake, want another Jake, golden. I saw this girl on TikTok today. She had a golden. Dude, I just want one so bad. If you're selling golden, let us know. Nah. Dude, I might honestly get another golden. I don't want one. I know. I don't think we have the the space for another golden. And I don't think I have the energy. But I want a pack. Remember I was telling you? So I want a pack of dogs. That is going to be my um career. I mean, my future. My future is me and a pack of dogs. So I am trying to figure out exactly what type of dogs I want. Uh, please tell me you're on board with this. 
No, I, I hear you. Oh, okay. No, no. I'm bored or you hear me? I'm bored. Are you actually? Imagine having a big old farm of goldens, bro. Right? Imagine. Yeah. Wait, so you are on board. Yes. yes. So I want a big, big like pack, right? Um, so I, big, anywhere between like five and seven goldens. I just didn't know if I wanted all goldens or if I wanted to add like melon walls in there. But what I'm thinking is if we add melon walls in there, there might be some issues. I don't want to add a melon wall. Yeah. Melon walls are crazy. Did you see the Oscars melon wall? She's cute. Yeah. See, that's why I want one. But then that's like, you get lucky with one of those. No, but I feel like I know a lot about dogs now. I feel like I'm ready for a melon wall. I didn't know anything about dogs and that's why I got older retrievers because I didn't know temperaments or like any of that stuff. But now we know a lot. Yeah. Like a lot. We know what foods. But I'm still not ready for a melon wall. I didn't say now. I'm saying like whenever we have a big house and then we can have a pack. Because, you know, imagine a little bunch of goldens. What's going to happen when the coyotes show up? They're going to go pet them. I'll, mm. I'll shoot the coyote. Are you allowed to? Yeah, you're allowed to kill coyotes. Fuck yeah, I'll, I'll kill coyotes. Danger. I don't care. Like I will because I think they be you killing can. dogs. Dude, coyotes are so mean. They are mean. I'll kill them for real. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get so cast. I know you it, won't. Nah, care. you won't. When it Fuck comes yeah. to it, if when it comes, comes here, to Ellie, it, I'll blow that bitch up. Nah, you're gonna be like, oh, it's just a Fuck coyote. No, dude, they're mean. They're hella mean, and they're all like, they're like greyhounds. Like, no, they're not. They look like they don't look like greyhounds. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people are against killing coyotes, but if I am pro killing coyotes because they for real be going down and like murdering little dogs. Like, dude, like coyotes be coming down to the hills, like in the middle of the night, which is also the owner's fault. Cause why the fuck is your little dog outside? Even big dogs, but like whatever they come down and, and they come they in packs. Them. Yeah, dude. And they're, but your little pussies, they don't come by themselves and they kill them, dude. And they like literally like, oh, I can't even. So yeah, point is that we we're getting a pack of goldens. So be ready. And we're gonna make like a little like AC farm in the back. Dude, Just so know excited. one coyote is eating the entire pack of goldens. Don't say bro. that, Jake. Don't the say goldens that. are gonna go and roll on their back and <laughs> get his guts taken out of them. Stop! I'm don't scared. say that. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's not funny. Okay, Please kidding. don't say that. That's nah, not know, funny at all. No, listen, listen. You broke my heart. <laughs> dude that shit made me sad. Don't say that. Why would you so say that? There's movies that I I want to watch in that. There's a, I don't know this. I think um, I Am Legend or something with Will Smith and a dog. Um, and she doesn't want to watch it because it's a sad story. I cannot watch it. I'll get depressed. I can't. I can't. Dude, can we talk about how happy I've been? Yeah. <sighs> son, it's I the, love you. It's the Fortnite. I'm telling you. It's not the sun. It's, it's the, the sun, babe. I'm telling Yesterday you. Yesterday in the shower, bro. All I see is Nat just sitting in the water like this. And all you see is the, what are they called? The, <laughs> the sternio triplets? What are they? <gasps> She's watching their, their uh, Fortnite video, bro. She's just like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> what has this world become to, bro? It's because they were playing. They posted a, a Fortnite video. Bro, get your nasty ass little toes <laughs> out of my chair. <laughs> and they were playing Fortnite. They're hilarious, dude. They're hella funny, bro. Anyway, so you went on a trip. Okay, I did go on a trip. And then I also got surprised on that trip. So it was a boys' night trip, right? A boys' trip. I go visit my family this uh, this past weekend. And day one, we were just chilling, like having fun, went to go buy some stuff. The next day was the trip, the actual trip. We go to the lake. And in the morning, tell me why. I'm just like, um, I'm in the garage setting up the video and everything. I go inside because my sister calls me. She's like, Jacob, I need to show you this. She's going on the computer for five minutes. I'm like, all right, what are you going to show me? And she's like, look at this, look at this. And it's not the stuff she's, she's trying to show me, but she was like stalling. So I'm like, all right, gee, I'm, I'm tired. You're not showing me nothing. So I'm about to walk out. She's like, no, no, it's right here, it's right here. So I look at it and then I'm just there for like two more minutes. I'm like, all right, I'm going to just give her two or three more minutes until she finds whatever she wants to show me. And then I hear the garage open, so I look, and then it's Nat. And she's like, hi, or something. <laughs> I'm like, what the? Nobody even knew except Gianna. Or who, who else knew that you were going to come? I think your dad. My, all right, Gianna and my dad knew. They're the only ones that knew. And then, yeah, you surprised me, and we're hanging out. Were you happy? Was it the first day Can or second day? Can you tell me the day? truth right now? What? You knew I was coming home. I promise. I, Jacob, wait, don't I, lie to I, me. I swear. Why Why did you think I knew? Because you faked the truck and then you faked the truck again. So I'm just trying to No, no, no. I promise I didn't know. This one that's, you didn't know. That's why I was trying Because Gianna said she was going to show me a picture when I was little. Bruh, I've seen every picture when I was little. And then she goes on the older computer and then she goes and looks and scrolls. I'm like, she's going for days, bro. Not even showing you nothing. <laughs> and then I'm just like stalling. But yeah, you came. And then uh, Rango seen your car when he pulled up and he was like, Hold up, because you parked in his parking spot. Fuck yeah, fuck ring one is M4, or is it M3? M3. M0? I'm just kidding. M4. There's no M0. <laughs> so I was trying to flame on Ringo. Damn. Because he got he got me mad, bro. He said, it's boys night. Like, bro. Oh yeah, he's funny. Bro, no. <laughs> Y'all stay fighting, bro. Bro, Ringo's hella funny. Yeah, so, but you surprised me. I was like, 
No way. So let me tell you why. Nah, I know why. Because you wanted to leave me with the dogs. No, no, no. You want to go to the party and leave me with the dogs. Let me explain. explain. I would never do that. Then why did you leave me with the okay, dogs so at night? Okay, so basically I wake up that morning and you left and then I was depressed. So then I called my mom and I was like, mom, like, what are you guys doing? And then she was like, oh, we're getting ready to go to Bakersfield. And I was like, so what is it? A Bakersfield party? What's up? Because everybody's leaving. So I was like, can I have an lie so I can go to a party with her? And she's like, no, she's going to Bakersfield too. And I was like. Then I checked Taylor's location and she's out and about eating with her friends. And I was like, so in conclusion, I was the only one in town. So I was like, uh, no. So I decided to pack my stuff and I was like, oh, I'm going to go with you guys. And so I packed everything, which took me like an hour. You can't even imagine how hard it was to take that damn crate from the third floor to the first floor up into my car. And then Jake had seen me through the ring. So I was like, fuck, he knows. I just seen you get ready. It just showed like a brief picture. And I was like, I just swipe up. But and why I would I be you. ready? You always get ready. You're right. And so then I was like, damn it, I have to go through the garage now. So then I had to move the car, dude, get the girls in the garage. I mean, in the car. It was like, pack the girls' food, get everything. And then I, it honestly was kind of like an instant regret. And then <laughs> I got in the car and I was like, all right, like, I'm going to head out. So yeah, I decided to just impulsively go. And I was honestly just going to go for that day. And then I was going to go to the party and come back. But then, I don't know, I folded. So then I stayed over there and then I slept. And then the next morning I just came back. I was just like bored, I think. I just wanted Yeah, you left the next morning. I was just bored. You were hungry. Because I, I invited you on the trip, but the girls weren't have to stay at the house, at my parents' house. And she didn't want the girls to stay at the parents', yeah, I parents, didn't. parents house. She wanted them to just go home. Yeah, but then I folded, so I still went. <laughs> no, you didn't go on the trip. What? You didn't go on our trip. Oh, no, I went to a party. Yeah, yeah. If you, <laughs> if you have not uh, watched my trip video, bro, go watch it, my trip video. How, what would you rate that video? One through ten. Ten. Yeah? It was a good video, huh? Mm -hmm. Dude, that video was so funny. We had a boys' trip. We went to Lake Ming or something in Bakersfield. The best, best trip ever. Shout out to my boy who loves to use his boat, too. Oh, yeah, bro. That guy's hella cool. We need to um, take the... What are those called? You know... Oh, we should call... Um, you know the banana? A banana? You've never seen the banana? It's like, like a raft? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. You've seen it? Uh-huh. No, you haven't. Like Why two, are you lying? A three-person three banana, no? Four person. It's I like hella people. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then people flip on it. Imagine mm -hmm. getting the banana stuck to that boat, bro. Oh, my gosh. These summer vlogs are going to be heat. We, yeah, we can ask him if he's down for that. Yeah, I'm so excited for these summer vlogs. Um, but anyways, we're going to hit one last topic. I know this is a long podcast. What do you guys do when you listen to our podcast? Like, let us know. A lot of people clean. Oh, that's genius. That's what we do, though. Yeah, but, that's what we do. But when I want to watch a podcast, like, my favorite po podcast right now is, like, Impulsive. So I, I actually sit down and watch it. Mm -hmm. My favorite podcast is the Roman Atwood podcast. I really like them. That's a wrap. Yeah, I love them. They're, dude, they're so cool. Like, I just, he inspires me a lot. And I feel like Roman really talks about, like, a lot of stuff on his podcast. That He's, like, more, the more realistic podcast. And then... I think impulsive is more of like the content. It, that's a production podcast. So yeah. it's very different. So that's why I think I really like Romans because he's so like everything they talk about is like really YouTuber stuff, which I love because You're a well, we're a YouTuber. So it's, it's amazing to hear it from an older YouTuber. Um, and then it's just kind of super, like, I don't know, super real. Like their relationship is so real. Like sometimes they'll bicker on the podcast and it's just like, it feels so authentic. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Or like, um, I don't know. Just everything they talk about is so authentic. Yeah, I love their podcast too. They're not, I just love they're it. They're up there with me. With they're, they're number two, I think. I think I only have one and two podcasts right now. Yeah, I, I really, really like it. And I feel like, yeah, Impulsive is really cool because like they be talking about some real shit too and they're like not filtered, but it is more production style. And I like more like chill. Like like if I wasn't us, I'd love our podcast. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but since I'm me, I can't hear myself talk for this long. Like, bro, shut <laughs> up. You hear it too in the headset. Dude, I know. And that's why I tell you to lower it because it's like, Oh, like I can't stand my own voice. Like uh -huh. I see why people say my voice is annoying, to be honest. We've been saying we've been trying to get guests on for the longest time, but we just haven't. Bro. Oh, but now we have a guest. We, we have, have a guest. guest next week. His name starts with a B. And ends with a V. Mm, you mm. guys excited? <laughs> this was funny, so I'm so He's excited. so done, dude. Um, that'll be next week's podcast, hopefully, if not the week after that. But I know we said we're going to have a Minnesota this week, but so sorry about it. It's because it was Jake's fault, to be honest, because I texted him. I was like, Jake, we have to do a Minnesota. And he said no, so blame Jake. Stop the cat. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I'm wrapping it up. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up now. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this podcast. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 100K. We just hit 90-something K. 93, I think. 93, bro. Bro, this podcast is fire. It's so fun what do you guys think our next channel should be on youtube we're gonna no, no. we're gonna make one watch no. i feel like we An will ellie and thea channel dude we could do videos with like the their day in their life yeah that'd be funny <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's podcast i know it was a long one and i hope you guys enjoyed it um yeah we will see you guys next week with a new episode and hopefully you have an update for you guys about the whole apple spotify and all of that stuff um and please make sure to watch the ad so we can get Edgar, a new car. <laughs> Please and thank you. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> this podcast and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.